the memories and the connection that sounds can have can evoke a very, very powerful emotion in all of us. And I think it connects people to the experience in a way that sight alone can't. An overwhelming majority of visitors not only feel that a good listening experience is an important part of a park visit, but that preserving natural soundscapes are important reasons for having parks. Wildlife need to hear the sounds that are important to them, the sounds of their prey, the sounds of predators approaching them, communication, finding mates. All those are important for ecological functioning. The other reason for having high standards in national parks is to preserve that sense of place, to have an authentic listening experience that is consonant with the reasons that park was founded. Just like air or water or wildlife, the acoustical environment or soundscape itself is one of the resources that the National Park Service protects. It is embodied in the Organic Act. We refer to physical sound waves as the acoustical environment and the soundscape itself as the human perception of the physical environment. And soundscape, it's really what those sounds bring to your experience in, in a national park. Natural sounds have a calming effect. Natural sounds can relax you, put you in a, in a mindset where you can take in information. Another term that we talk about a lot when we're dealing with acoustic environment and soundscapes is noise. Noise is a sound that's either unwanted or unnecessary. One of the effects of noise is to prevent the animal or the human from hearing sounds that would otherwise have been quite audible. This phenomenon is called masking. Noise just physically gets in the way and prevents you from hearing things you otherwise would have heard. People tend to get irritated when they're exposed to noise and especially when they have an expectation that it's going to be quiet or calmer. The slightest sound that we might ignore in our own bedrooms might suddenly bring us to full awake or alert in a park just because we're unfamiliar and maybe we're wondering if that bear that you know might come visiting tonight. Animals use sound for a variety of biological activities. So they can use sound to find suitable habitat, for finding food, for finding a mate. Sound is a big component of territorial displays. So there's really a huge diversity of sounds that animals are using or listening to in the natural environment. The exciting thing about this research, that is understanding the impacts of noise on wildlife, is that it has direct implications for managing noise within our parks, whether it's removing the noise source or coming up with strategies to mitigate that noise. So ultimately we're creating more ideal habitat for the amazing animals that live within these ecosystems. <coughs>